So this is point location. Let's find the points so you can do the protocol. First one is LR5, liver 5, and that's on the leg, the lower leg. And I'll just do a little adjustment here. And you're going to find your ankle bone on the inside of your leg, the medial edge, and your knee here. And you want to be about a third of the way up from the bottom. And go over to this flat edge of your leg bone, of your shin, and you'll find a divot there. That's going to be your LR5. And that's the first point you do in the protocol. The next point is CON6, six, Conception 6. And that's on the lower belly, below the waist, below the um, navel. So here's my navel. And you want to be about two or three finger widths below that. You want to be at the prominence of the belly. And I know that all of us have greater or lesser degrees of belly prominence. Don't worry about it. Con 22, front midline, up here at the base of the throat. Here's your collarbones. And there's a space right in between them. Sternal notch. And that's con 22. Very easy to find. Gov 14, G-O-V 14. That's on the back of the neck, right here, right underneath this big bone. That big bone is the seventh cervical vertebrae, and it's where your neck meets your body. LI15, large intestine 15. It's on the side of the shoulder, and what you do is you just kind of roll off the shelf of your shoulder onto the side face and you want to be close to the front not all, way, not all the way at the front corner here but a little bit back more towards the front side and you'll find a little space in the muscles where you can sink in that's LI15 so these points uh, if they're not on the midline front or back are going to be bilateral. Uh, there's an exception coming up, but I'll talk about that soon. The next point is PC3, pericardium 3, and that's on the elbow crease as you bend your elbow. And if you make a fist and strengthen your bicep like Popeye, you're going to feel this tendon here pop up. You want to be on the little finger side of that tendon. And again, right in that crease, you'll find a place where you sink in. PC3. TE4, on the back of the wrist. Again, we're going to tense some muscles to find the point. So you're going to strongly flex your fingers back, extend them, with a little tension, and let me straighten around here, you'll feel this tendon right here kind of pop out. You want to be on the little finger side for this as well. And you're right at the crease between the arm bones and the wrist bones, right in that joint. And again, you'll find a divot where you can kind of sink in a little bit. Gov 8, G-O-V 8. That's on the back midline, and it's actually right below the ninth thoracic vertebrae. It's pretty much in the middle of your back. I can't reach it. And John Cross, the author of this protocol, says not to worry. If you can't reach it, you can skip it. I suggest if you want, you can bring some attention to that point, just to spend a little time in tension and attention. Bring some vitality there to your middle of your back. Spleen 16, SP 16. Now this is the exception. This is a bilateral point, but for this particular protocol, we're only using it on the left. So I'm going to show you it's on the torso. And here's my left side. And I'm going to measure from this costal angle of my ribs here and my belly button 
about halfway and I want to be a little bit below that and over about in line with the nipple the nipple where the nipple is when you are upright and that's roughly where spleen 16 is if you place your hand there a little bit on your ribs a little bit off um, a little bit above the waist and you're using your whole hand you're going to hit the point so not to worry and the last point is con 14 conception so conception vessel is the front midline governing GOV is the back midline and again this is using that costal angle here the edge of your ribs just about an inch below that that's your con 14 so these are the points that we're using for point location.